couple of days after the quake, because we all used the slipway here, I just come down and had a swim through that little harbour that we've got here, just to have a look at what was happening. And where we are currently, there was um, little uplifts of, of limestone that probably came up and lifted a metre. How long have you been doing this? As in quake fishing, uh, 40, 44 years. Started with a few pots and it just progressed from there, really. Yeah, the ramp after the quake has um, had a bit of deterioration with it. Um, the right at the very bottom is broken away a bit and we do have trouble launching. For months, just you couldn't get your head around how low the tide was. South Bay here on the Kaikoura Peninsula pretty much rose at only about a metre. But obviously the other parts of the coast, the uplift was far, far greater than what we've got around here. It was shocking. I, I, uh, we've never seen anything um, of this scale. Really dramatic uplift where these large subtidal reefs had completely lifted out of the water. They've changed a lot. A lot of species has been lost. There's been that have been massive die-offs of many species, and it's quite sad because you know they're quite bare and empty now. And I hope they can little by little recover. Stilettos everywhere. They are really the big winners out of this earthquake because while most other species didn't manage to cope with the new conditions created by the earthquake, these green algae are doing very well. It's not a, a sign of great ecosystem health. If you go to a polluted estuary or a polluted harbour, generally what you find is this big extension of green algae. Probably now this reef spends uh, about four hours a day underwater and the rest of the time it's out of the water. So it's, it's quite a harsh environment for marine species and it didn't used to be like that. What are the seals? Did the seals... General numbers, I think, still, are still very, very good. They've come back for the last few years. Yeah, they have been uh, increasing over the last few years, yes. One of the species most affected by the earthquake was the, the bull kelp. Many, many plants of the species were lost because they were not able to withstand the heat and the desiccation following the uplift. All that is left of these plants are these marks. Many species rely on the presence of bull kelp to survive. Life is hard for many without the bull kelp. It's too early to say uh, whether it's going to recover. Even if it's going to recover, it's going to take years. We're seeing um, nice patches of these grazing limpets. This is a good sign because immediately following the uplift of this particular platform, we saw a large die off of these in the high shore. There were thousands of shells and the seagulls were having a feast. The, the gulls really took advantage of the, the influx of all these limpets and this extra protein. And they put on a lot of body weight and they even were able to lay a second clutch of eggs. So. You know, there's winners and losers in these sort of situations. Inevitably, when members of the public come up and ask us what we're doing, they automatically ask us about the power. We have a couple of black-footed power here, but what we're really interested in looking for are the offspring of these post-earthquakes, and they're quite hard to find right now. We've turned over hundreds of rocks already. Um, so far, we've only found a small handful of the post-earthquake power, which would be around 10 millimeters or something like that. Taking into consideration that thousands and thousands of reproductive adult power were lost during the earthquake, it's really critical that we ensure that they are reproductive and that they're producing a lot of young. And until we know that, uh, it's better to be cautious. We're gonna have to keep uh, doing surveys and taking a closer look. The crayfish numbers have, in our opinion, probably stayed pretty much average. We were asked to be part of the survey after the quake, and yeah, we, we observed the crayfish for numbers to sort of be relatively stable. Is that a good one? That's a, That's a reasonable cray, yeah. 